As the energy manager, you need to make good use of communications to motivate people to support and drive forward the energy management system. Keep your communications clear and positive. The objective of communications is to enhance the knowledge, skills and common understanding of all personnel with information that helps them achieve their energy management objectives and targets. Effective communications motivate staff to accelerate progress in energy management. Good and wide-ranging external communications can help build your brand reputation and increase cooperation. All communications in support of the system must be documented. Good communication needs a systemic approach like any other part of the operation. One of the weaknesses of ISO 50001 is that it considers external communications as optional. In fact, good external communications is one of the most effective business development tools that comes out of an energy management system. You shouldn't surrender it. Here are the ISO 50001 guidelines on communication. Internal communications and energy performance should reflect the size of the organisation. A process should be established to enable any person working for or on behalf of the organisation to comment or suggest improvements to the management system. If the organisation decides to communicate in its energy policies or performance externally, a method for documentation of that is needed. An energy management system requires the participation of the entire workforce within the scope and boundaries of the system. Communication plays a vital role in sharing infor common information and knowledge related to energy management operations, and energy management can play a major role in business development through sustainability. Although ISO 50001 leaves a choice of whether or not to engage in external communication to the organisation's discretion, one of the major benefits from energy management is surrendered if external communication is not implemented. For internal communication, it's very important that you're not simply broadcasting from the centre. You need two-way communication. It ensures all personnel working for or on behalf of the organisation are aware of the importance of conforming to the energy policies, procedures and energy management requirements and the potential consequences of failing to conform, as well as their roles, responsibilities and authority with respect to system requirements, the benefits of improved energy performance, the impact of their activities on actual or potential energy consumption and how their activities and behaviour contribute to achieving energy objectives and targets. A key communication principle in energy management is the idea of partnership. These activities can include promoting the company's environmental and energy efficiency improvements through press releases and company newsletters, organising and implementing the results of environmental and energy best practice workplace tours, adding value to uh, co corporate social responsibility reports with news of energy performance improvements, coordination with the system operations committee on inquiries regarding energy management activities and ensuring a timely response, as well as promoting the company's social and environmental activities and contributions to the community. Over the next two slides, we list in some ways you can get that positive message out there. Obviously on the web and social media, corporate brochures and CSR reports, at stockholder general meetings, through corporate advertising, press releases, company newsletters, through the sales and marketing team, at exhibitions, through training and seminars, lean energy procurement guidelines, plant tours, community social activities, and don't forget the importance of your workforce taking pride in and spreading the good news. Communication is not completed when you send out the message. The message must be received, open, read and understood. You need to see from feedback that the message has generated a common level of understanding. And next, you need to see that the message is resulting in performance improvements.